Right. And let me ask this, because the, the easy money, um, <laughs> you were right. saying that you kind of regret doing all this. Yeah, I kind of regret doing all this, you know, as far as the tattoos and the goals, because, I mean, you know, a lot of people stereotype you for something that you're really not, man, when I'm really a good person, you know what I'm saying? What, what made you do it with the teeth and everything? I mean, you know, I was kind of... Coaching! It's part of our culture. It's part of our culture. All this culture. It's part of our culture, you know? And I was young at the same time, and, you know, I mean, I kind of... A lot of bad decisions. Gates and Easy Money say just because you rap about the street life, drugs, guns, and violence, it doesn't mean you live in the world. You'll be the representative for the people that's in the world. You're trying to get out the hood. I'm the voice of the streets, basically. There you go. Then the conversation turned to why so many people carry guns. Why do you think? People of our demographic, our age, African Americans, gotta carry it. It stopped mid sentence when a man who used to be in the rap group with Easy Money started yelling obscenities about Gates being in his neighborhood. That's the sentence he said, get you killed, boy. You know? You think this is? It's not a live crime example of why it's so volatile in New Orleans. You have a camera, boy. Never come in my hood and disrespect on the mother camera or not. This is now move that camera. This is not this camera. Move that camera. This is white man. This is white man. Why you ain't wait till this crap? All right, homie. Why you ain't wait till the camera was gone and did all that? It was obvious it was time for us to leave, which we started to do. Then Easy Money, his son by his side and his friend, confronted the man. And a conflict that should have been settled with words turned violent. And we must warn you, what happens here is graphic what's, what's and frightening. And while the two men fought, the That's little bitch in your eye witnessed everything. Then we saw the gun and realized this could have turned deadly. And the woman desperately crying out, this is where the killing starts. He got pissed off talking all that shit. The same woman who lost four sons to gun violence. And the fight breaks up. She could. This is why we out here to try to stop this. That's horrible. That's horrible. Later, Gates met us in front of Channel 4 because we wanted to know how this is going to be. Like I said, Eric, I hate to have been brought you in that environment but in hindsight yes there was a close call because the person that was angry at uh the the, the oh, me, you oh, had a firearm let me ask you this go back go oh, 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 oh and then the guy missed him a couple times eric i can't answer that question i mean i don't know why that, that happened hurt. why did it go into that but i think he was and he got a him too. so it didn't escalate to something perfect yeah, this like, time no like, shots were no fired right. but it's an example of how pride, anger, and not walking away can turn into violence where no one wins. You got pants, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I ain't going nowhere. And he got tight pants on. I'm good. I ain't going nowhere. You, you see, I just got your ass go, guys. And you got tight pants. Nigga and, took your gun, dog. Skull drag your ass. And, and took your gun. Could have killed you. Well, let me kill her. I believe our son. It's a comeback, huh? We're talking with. With not really with the New Orleans Peace come back, is and Kwame Gates, who did the documentary, and we're hoping we can start a dialogue. We're hoping TV. we can get a hold of all these guys viral. and bring he them together and see if, if they can find a first. peaceful they resolution to this, so this does not first. escalate even yeah, further yeah, down yeah, the road. He would have killed him if the camera wasn't there, Dave. Dave, literally killed him. Did did you see how that boy looked dead in that camera and stuck the gun all the same time and not really? But like I said again, dude. I'm sorry. I don't care if you don't like it. But if you think about it, this is the reason why cops shoot niggas. And don't tell me what they used to do it back in the days. Let's talk about what's happening now. Niggas are really threats to everyone around them. Children, the child was there. 
moms, dudes got guns in their mouth, ridiculous looking people sitting in these but they do, they do, like they're not trying they, to do that they dude don't that do beat that boy up is a nigga that was trying to turn peaceful, bro. Yeah. But just to watch these grown men, you know, like the nut wards and all Dang, these people, bro, get in your face, bro, argue with you and fight just with you. Like, look like you doing something that they can't do. Dave, just like with you, Dave. He walked in that nigga's face, didn't he? Just like black with you, Dave. Black spend their time trying to find out what it is you're doing. That dude wouldn't have got, I escalated from you just black people. saying, could I, I pass? came from the women. You did? Again, that man had his son there. He sounded like he was trying to get his stuff right. He was trying to logically have a discussion. And, of course, the other jackass comes over. When you look at that and you think about the Mike Browns, you think, well, there's no way Mike Brown did. Boy, gonna pull that pistol out the shooting dude. Oh, yeah, he you would. also would have thought that no way this dude would have done this with he a camera. He was motivated on. for that. That's he why did. he was hostile. You also thought this he dude would have walked up with a gun, get beat up, and get his gun taken from him. But he did. Maybe at some point, black folks will realize that in Not America, me. the biggest detriment I to say them this. are themselves. That there was anyway, an eye open for the world. I don't feel also. any remorse when I do stories about them Why? drowning in lakes. It's for the people being shot see by the police. That it ain't I don't no think bullshit. This shit is really real. Yeah, there yeah, was wasn't no TV fucking um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, clip snippet. What the people tell me. Nigga, that, that was a real fuck. Like I said, that was a real fight, man. You saw that boy. You saw that boy face. You saw that boy face open up. You heard that? You saw his face. I'm alright. I ain't going. I know that. That's where you live, nigga. You ain't going. You live there. Or if anybody tried to leave. You come back in the neighborhood. The best friend nigga ought to come back in that neighborhood. This is. He didn't come back in the neighborhood. Raw. Come back in the neighborhood. Oh, and P.S. I'd love it if someone would do one thing. Address the mental retardation that goes on in the black neighborhoods. Those SAT <laughs> scores aren't wrong. Those IQ scores aren't wrong. Listen to these dudes can't formulate simple sentences. Listen to these dudes can't convey simple thoughts. Watch the women who claim they lost four children. What do these whores do? Still continue to live in the place where they lost four children. No intelligent person would lose a child, stay there, lose a second, stay there, lose a third, stay there, lose a fourth, and then still stay there. And again, what you black men need to pay attention to is why you're killing each other. These whores keep living on and on like Jack and uh, uh, Rose DeWitt Buketor in the damn Titanic. Like this is what's going on. They are just to go on and on. Why y'all die in the middle of the streets over what? Over nothing. They don't do nothing to stop y'all. Then when the cry, this is where all the killing starts. Then leave. Stop having children in areas where all the killing goes on. But your whores can't keep your legs closed. And you can't keep screwing niggas that ain't shit. But that's supposed to be the world's fault. No, the white man's fault. Same white man that's funding your being able to sit at home all day and have these children by any Tom, Dick, and Hank. His name is because you're a gang. 